most beautiful breathtaking scenery in the world, sandy beaches, and surfing, of course. Woo! In this video, I'm gonna share with you how much it costs to go to Eucalypt Tofino to surf for 10 days, Airbnbs, where to get surfboards, where to surf, and much more. Let's go. We're headed to Vancouver Island with me and my friend. It's just so cheap to come from Toronto to oh, West was only a hundred dollar flight, maybe hundred twenty dollars. So right behind me is Tofino, which is the very west coast of British Columbia. It's a small little coast off of British Columbia on an island called Vancouver Island. We got a car on the ferry here. We're going to take the ferry. It's a two hour drive to Nanaimo on Vancouver Island. And from there, then we go another two hours. And apparently there's sightings of Bigfoot all over the place. This bye bye Vancouver. Hello Tofino. Okay. So the drive from Nanaimo to Eucalypt is absolutely breathtaking. It's a two hour drive. I recommend stopping halfway at a little town called Port Alberni. It's absolutely beautiful and it's nestled in the mountains and it has cheaper groceries than what you'll get in Tofino. So we got an Airbnb for 10 days in Eucalypt and here it is here. Here's the Airbnb here and you can see that uh, there's a couch with a pullout. We did have two other people coming, but they bailed on us. They couldn't make it. So it was just the two of us. So I took the pullout couch and Francis took the master bedroom. And there's a master bedroom in the back. And so this was $1,200 for 10 days. It was warm. It was clean. It was a really beautiful spot. They did have bigger units. If you want to pay a little more money, they did have some units with a dining room and a hot tub out on the patio. This was my favorite surf shop. It's called Relic Surf, and they have the best deals I found on the entire island. I shopped around quite a bit, and they had boards. You could get two suits, two boards, high-performance hard boards. They have soft top as well, and they give you a roof rack, all for $32 a day each. So $64 a day for two people. Wow. Okay, so day two, we surfed Wiccanish Beach. Here it is here. Wow. It's like nobody out here. It's like four surfers. There's four. Today, it's about head height. There's about two people out there. One of them's my friend. Might not be able to see her in the camera. It's nice and quiet. It's just you and the ocean at Wiccanosh Beach. And there's so many, there's so many great beach breaks all the way down and up Wiccanosh Beach you could choose from. This is one of my favorite beaches by far, so far. Not only is it beautiful, it's very remote. Nobody comes to this one. Woo! Water's about to take me out here. But it's a sandy bottom and it's great for all levels. Next, day three, we tried Florentia Beach. This one is a little risky. There's some rocks that you need to be aware of, so it's good to ask some locals and ask around. Uh, make sure that you know what you're doing when you go to this one. The waves tend to be bigger here as well. Uh, today, they weren't big, but generally speaking, they can get over 1.5 meters easy. And we had, and if Tofino's big, then usually Florentia is always bigger. So that keep that in mind. So we were here in the beginning of February and the water temperature was nine degrees, eight degrees, usually nine. And it was very sunny like this, except for one day. So we were very warm in our suits. Behind me is the graveyard of the Pacific. Reason is hundreds of shipwrecks that have been documented all along this area over the years. So this is my absolute favorite beach to surf out of all the beaches in Tofino and Eucalypt. This tops them all. I had great ride here. There's a great peak right close to a huge rock you'll see when you first get here. 
the local vibe is really warm and welcoming. I felt really cool with the locals, so that wasn't a problem. Everyone's really friendly here. The waves can get from waist all the way up to overhead and a half. Cox Beach. Now this is the most famous beach out of all of them in Tofino and the crowd was moderate and this was again in the winter so it's not too bad. In the summer I'm sure it's much yeah. busier. Um, it's good for beginners and intermediate and not so much for advanced. Any waves that get over six feet will start to close out okay. so um, this was Late. a fun beach. I had a lot of, I had a good time. This is a west coast bonsai tree. Even though it's tiny, it can be several hundred years old. And it kind of grows in a twisted, funny way. This is like a, just a remote one, sitting on a rock all by itself. It's a cute little bonsai. Okay, so this home is for sale right here on South Chesterman Beach. Here's the view that you have. And that's the house. Look at that, how close you are to the beach. It's a 30 second walk to the beach. I found this $4 million house just right on the beach. It's actually in South Chesterman. Oh, it's a bit of a, it looks like it needs a bit of work on the outside, but it's a bit of a fixer upper. But it's a beautiful lot. Okay, next, North Ooh. Chesterman. We surfed this a couple days and every day was the same. Beautiful, good waves, uh, sunny. This was the busiest beach break out of all the beaches we visited. We did come here quite often. We really liked this spot as well. This is definitely one of the most beautiful places I have ever been to.